Right, hi everybody. In this video, you're going to learn how to get an object to follow the mouse with some lag. So if you look at the demonstration here, I have an object following the mouse with some space in between the sprite and the pointer. I can change the amount of lag or responsiveness by changing the responsiveness value. So the lower the responsiveness, the more lag there is. And the higher the responsiveness, the less lag there is. So let's look at the code and see how that works. So I have two global variables, one for the sprite, I'm calling it target, and one for the slider, I'm calling it slider. Setup function, I'm just drawing the canvas, I'm making a sprite. Sprite is placed at the middle of the screen, width divided by two and height divided by two, and the sprite is 50 pixels wide and 50 pixels high. I'm setting the sprite shape color property to red, so I'll have a red sprite, and I'm creating the slider. I'm creating a slider in the slider object, and the create slider has four arguments. The first two are the starting number and the ending numbers. So the range is from zero to one. The slider is set at 0.2 responsiveness, and you can change the responsiveness by as low as 0 0.0001. That means if you remove that slider just, just a little, little bit, it will change by 0 0.0001. So you can really get some fine tuning action. And I'm just placing the slider at position x equals 10, y equals 10, and I'm styling it with a width of 100 pixels. And the draw function, we're gonna see how the responsiveness changes the lag. Let's look at this line here. Let responsiveness equals slider dot value. Wherever that slider is set, the value of it will be passed into this responsiveness variable. So responsiveness stores the slider value. And then I'm going to show that responsiveness value in this text statement here. And then we're going to manipulate the sprite velocity based on the responsiveness. So let's look and see how that works here. So it says target.velocity x is equal to mouse x minus target position x times responsiveness. So what does this mean? I am changing the velocity of the sprite. So velocity is speed with a direction. How am I changing it? I'm taking the difference of the mouse X position and the sprite X position and the difference between the mouse Y position and the sprite Y position. Okay, I'm, I'm measuring to see how far away the mouse is from the sprite. And then I'm multiplying that amount. I'm multiplying that amount by how much response from this value is. So what happens when we multiply numbers? When you multiply a number by a small number, you're gonna get a small number, right? So for example here, if the difference between the mouse and the sprite is 10 pixels, and I multiply that by 0 0.1, I get one. I'm gonna pass that number in to the velocity. So we'll have a velocity of one. But if I multiply it by a bigger number, so I increase the responsiveness, let's say the responsiveness is one, so I'm gonna take the difference between the position of the sprite and the mouse, so let's say it's 10, and I'm multiplying it by the responsiveness one, 10 times one is 10. That's 10 times faster than it was before. So the velocity will be 10 times faster. So there'll be a lot less lag. That's why there's less lag when you're moving the number high, because you're multiplying it by a bigger number. And that will be passed into the velocity. You're setting the velocity higher. And if you want more lag, lower the responsiveness, and that means the velocity of the sprite will be lowered. And that's how it works. 